This is a 2007 SRAM Rival Double Tap Shifter. Wonderful little piece of equipment and we're going to look at overhauling it uh, along with the other shifter here. And uh, just going to take a brief tour of the thing after pulling it off your uh, handlebars there and uh, removing this side panel secured with sc three screws you see the basic mechanism how it works. Uh, what we have here is um, there's one piece uh, this is the uh, nylon uh, take up reel with a return spring and then it travels underneath this uh, uh, metal uh, drive cog this is basically the the heart of the transmission here this is the part that it gets moved forward when you shift basically uh, you've got your double tap lever here which is connected to this this uh, spring loaded frame and there is a pivot a pivot pin running right through all of this this moves up and what it does it carries with it this uh, shift pole which can slide over or under uh, this uh, stationary uh, holding pole and that holding pole works with the with the um, steps that are machined into this uh, drive cog uh, and the drive cog in turn is keyed into this nylon uh, frame here uh, nylon cylinder which is your uh, take up reel to which your uh, uh, shift cable is attached so best way to figure out how it works is just to take it like this and just uh, and just work the lever and study how it goes. You've basically got three components. The, uh, the take-up reel and this drive ring are one component. Let's look at it over here with a partially dismantled system. Here is the uh, this is the uh, drive re or the, um, the take-up reel and it's a uh, fairly simple arrangement with a return spring and this collar uh, here actually keys into, let's see if we can get this here, sorry about that. Okay, there we go. And you've got the two tabs uh, inside, yeah, that's better, uh, which key into the corresponding tabs there. Now this, the cool part of this is that um, for left and right, SRAM did not make two different um, drive cogs. This one has, as you can see, uh, ten, 10 slots on one side uh, and then two on the other. Basically what you've got is a built-in spare part. Uh, Typically with these SRAM shifters, um, particularly I found with the front shifter, uh, the in this case, if we can get a view on it here, this step has broken, basically sheared off because of the force uh, put on the mechanism uh, by the uh, shift cable. So you've got, what we basically need here is another uh, spare part and we have it over here on the other side because this as I say was machined with uh, the front shift steps on one side of the ring and the 10 speed steps on the other side so the trick for this is just to dismantle the unit and swap the two rings over and you'll effectively have new shifters then. So the, the way to do that, and this has been covered in other videos, is to knock this pivot pin out to remove the, uh, the shift lever, uh, then uh, take off this uh, screw at the, at the, at the side uh, to, in order to remove the, the pin. You need to go in from, from this end here and knock out the pivot pin, that's this unit here, and then uh, 
out come the um, basically this this um, shift unit here with what SRAM calls the uh, the transport pole. You can see the the pivot hole there. Typically, uh, you're just moving it like this, and the transport pole will actually move, push the uh, drive cog up, and the uh, the holding pole will simply snap into the uh, the nearest ring or the nearest step and hold it. So once you've actually taken this apart, it uh, becomes fairly self-evident how it works. But I think the coolest feature is the fact that you can swap these rings and um, as a result you've got built-in spare parts.